Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another workout video. Today I'm going to be doing a full leg day as my last workout at my home gym because when you guys see this video, I will have already moved and I'm really like heartbroken over the fact that this is my last lift there. Hopefully I'm gonna kill this workout because I've got like a nine hour drive ahead of me tonight and you know, I would like to be sore the entire time because why would I want to be comfortable on my drive? So let's get on into the gym and let's get this workout done. Of course, every workout of mine starts with a warm up. I just did 20 minutes on the elliptical and then I went into my stretching routine, which I did post an entire video on my full stretching routine. So you guys can go check that out. It'll pop up on the screen and I'll have it linked in the description box down below as well. Now this video I filmed like over two months ago now I thought I lost the footage and I found it so here we are with my full leg day although I'm pretty sure I'm also missing clips so my apologies it's not a full leg day but of course it's pretty much a, your, your legs will be shaking at the end of this workout no matter what and of course I can always film another leg day video for you guys especially since my new gym since I've moved is amazing and I love it so the first thing that I did on this leg day is I started off with one of my favorite ways to start off a leg day, which is by doing this tri set that I do. I grab a 20 to 30 pound barbell. You can also do this not weighted. And I start off with 20 walking lunges. Then I do 20 good mornings and then 20 squats. The walking lunges are going to fire up your glutes your hamstrings, your quads, everything. And then the good mornings are great for your hamstrings and your back and your butt. And then the finisher with the squats, of course, is a little bit more quad and glute based. So you are just getting your legs all warmed up and ready to go for leg day. Your heart rate should get nice and elevated. You might break a little bit of a sweat if you're anything like me, especially since I moved down south a little bit. I am just such a sweaty human at the gym. Let me know in the comments down below, guys, that I'm not alone because I just, I am such a sweaty person at the gym. But I can say with confidence that at least I'm not a stinky sweaty person at the gym, but I am definitely like, I look like I just went swimming whenever I work out. It's, it's kind of gross, but you know, what can you do? Also in the comment section down below while we just make our way through this tricep, I didn't feel like speeding up any of the clips today. I kind of wanted you guys to see me working out in real time, but it also leaves a lot more time for me to babble and talk. So in the comments, I would love to hear what you guys would like to see from me next in terms of my fitness related content. I've been in a little bit of a slump lately. I haven't been filming my workouts. I just, I feel kind of weird, probably because I'm in a new gym, a new environment, and I don't know, it's like kind of awkward. I mean, I've been filming and working out in the gym in this video for a good five to six years, so I didn't really care. But now I'm like, oh God, are people looking at me with my camera? And like, I'll see other people wearing Gymshark stuff. And I'm like, I know you guys know what I'm doing. And it just feels weird. So I need to break out of my shell a little bit. So let me know what you guys want to see from me next in terms of like what workouts you want to see from me. And oh, cool, I'm doing something new. And I actually hit a new personal best. The next set that I do, I was doing sumo deadlifts, which is where your feet are wider than shoulder width apart, toes pointed out, hands about shoulder width apart. And you kind of bend at the knee a little bit, keep your back as straight as possible. This was the heaviest that I've ever lifted, so my form is not the best. But I moved 185 for six whole reps, and I was so proud of myself. I've been focusing more on my sumo deadlifts lately rather than my conventional stance or any other variation of deadlifts because they do focus a little bit more on your hamstrings. And I've really been trying to focus more on my hamstrings lately because I feel like my quads, again, a little bit out of hand. I am quad dominant, as a lot of people are and I just would like to balance things out. After the sumo deadlifts, I moved on to this squat superset that I do, and that is why the weight is a little bit lower than normal. I can't tell, I don't remember. These are either 25 or 35 pound plates, and I do 10 sumo squats, and then I bring my feet in closer together for a more narrow slash like regular stance squat, and I do 10 of those and your quads will be screaming once you are done with these. Also, I don't think that I've mentioned so far, but I do aim for four sets of every workout that I have done in this video. So I did four sets of those triceps, four sets of the deadlifts, and then I do four sets of these sumo and regular stance squat combos. And man, my legs were 
literally on fire for like three days after this workout. Now I'm pretty sure that the next thing that I did during this workout I cannot seem to find the footage of but I did do a hamstring curl machine which is the thing that's right behind me during this clip where it's a single leg hamstring curl. You can also do a lying hamstring curl or any like hamstring isolating movement. And after I did my hamstring curls, I moved on to the quad curls where I started off by doing 10 with both legs, lower the weight, and then do 10 more on each leg individually. I'm pretty sure that somebody sat down on the machine that I put my tripod on and hence the like earthquake happening in this clip. I used to be like afraid to use this machine because I've heard horror stories of how you can hurt your knees on this. I always set up the machine to where at the bottom of the movement my knee is 90 degrees bent. It's not going like underneath the seat. There's no reason that it needs to go that low because the real squeeze is at the top of the movement. When I'm doing the movement with both of my legs, I kind of try to focus on the inner portion of my quads, and then when I am doing the single leg movements, I try to focus on the outer portion of my quads to really hit all of the muscles in my legs and feel a great burn. And the finisher for this leg day is, of course, heavy glute bridges on the Smith machine, feet a little bit wider than shoulder width apart, and squeezing at the top of this movement really squeeze that ugly butt. I promise you guys you will get all of the booty gains if you do a variation of the glute bridges. They're amazing. You should try them out. I love them. And that is it for this commentary. I hope you guys enjoyed this leg day because I know that I sure did. And here's the end of this video. So there you guys have it. That was my last workout and my last leg day at my home gym. I hope you guys enjoyed that workout video. I'm so happy that I hit a new PR with my deadlifts. I don't think I've ever lifted 185 at all. I feel like I've tried and I feel like I just couldn't get it off the ground and then I did six. Like what? <laughs> I'm so impressed. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you leave it a nice big thumbs up for me. I would love to keep up with you guys across all of my social media platforms. I always have links to them all in the description box down below because I'm at Julie Jigsaw in most places, but not all. So go find the links. Come find me all over the internet, especially on Instagram because I'm pretty much like always on Instagram. And is anybody even still on Snapchat anymore? Like, I feel like they killed it with that update a little while ago. Just who uses Snapchat? And of course, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, you totally should. I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!